is focused on consumption flexibility with a continued emphasis on software and cloud-based solutions to drive innovation and growth. As an organization, we are transitioning everything to be cloud-managed or cloud-delivered, and CX is not an exception. My name is Margaret Morão, and this is Digital Minds. At Cisco, ensuring that our customers have a simple, integrated, and fully personalized experience is at the core of what we do. By combining customer experience with CX Cloud, our aim is to provide our customers and partners with an integrated digital experience that connects them to the right experts at the right time to accelerate their time to value on technology investments. To get to know more about how Cisco CX Cloud can be disruptive for our customers and partners, as well as how we can articulate our CX Cloud strategy and the digital journeys we are delivering, I'll be chatting with our SVP, Tony Collin. As an industry influencer, he is driving Cisco's CX Cloud strategy, leading a team of 1,400 people made up of engineers, designers and researchers who are truly committed to accelerating Cisco's growth. Good morning, Tony, from Lisbon. How is the weather in Chicago? Good morning, Marguerite. Uh, weather is incredible. It's an honor to have you here in Digital Minds. So, Tony, being named as the leader of the newly established Customer and Partner Experience organization help us to understand how are you and your team creating a unique and unified experience in the disruptive times we are living in? One of the things that we're doing here at Cisco is how do we unify not just our products but our people and the entire company around this belief that the customer is at the center of everything we do. You know, many people talk about customer obsessed, many people talk about customer centricity, but it's really in how your products and your people show up when things are good, when things are bad, when products aren't working. And really for us, it's, it's really the glue. And I think during this pandemic, it has really shown us that digital is really the, the front door and the experience that customers are gonna have with you. They can't physically go to your office. They can't physically go to a briefing center. They, you can't physically visit their location. And I think for us, it's been really pivotal to make that switch of what is the experience from when you enter Cisco.com to when you enter the customer experience cloud. And then what do you enter as a partner, as a distributor, as a reseller, and then ultimately as an employee. And you've probably heard the term that happy employees make happy customers. So we want to make sure that employee experience is as good as, if not uh, as well and better than the customer experience. So for us, it's really, really key that we nail this customer experience and do it right. When you enter Cisco, you get a feeling and a sense of a brand that embraces you, that's secure, and it's trustworthy. Customers want a simple, integrated experience that guides them from the purchase moment through to value realization. And they want it across multiple digital or human channels. But Cisco is a highly complex company that often welcomes new acquisitions that bring new products, services across multiple routes to market, right? As a result, Customers can sometimes feel like they are dealing with many different companies rather than one, which of course impacts their experience and ease of doing business with us, Cisco. If the experience is our North Star, how can we connect these teams and tie together the data, systems, processes used across the company to ensure that customers receive a consistent, simple and unified customer experience, no matter who they deal with? It's a wonderful question. So I've been at Cisco for about two years. And I will tell you, one of the first things that I was told as I arrived is we operate as multiple companies. 
And you know, part of that was strategic in nature because you, you acquire companies, they, do, they have a brand, you think of WebEx, you think of AppDynamics, you think of Meraki, and now with the recent larger acquisition of Thousand Eyes, how do you continue to maintain that market presence where these were independent companies doing very well in the market? Uh, and then, you know, you want to force integration, right? You want to find seamless ways to actually integrate these companies. And then I asked the question of who are we? Are we a house of brands or are we a branded house? And then the executive team said, no, we are, we're a branded house. And it, when you look at how our products interact, we, we operate like a house of brands. And I think from an engineering perspective, it's so key to really dig in as to what is the glue. And I think you, you mentioned it and you nailed it with it's data, it's the systems, it's the processes, and the thread that brings everything together in our world has been the telemetry. You think of our consumer lives, you know, um, autonomous vehicles, and we're thinking about a network like Cisco where we're operating a company's environment. It's really the opportunity for us to then take all the data that we have and just make it smarter and make it available to predict things like a crash or to predict that some application is starting to degradate. And so that for us is super key. And the glue for all of this that brought the company together was around a belief that we need to bring a single telemetry model for the entire company and then that will unlock the value for our customers and partners on the digital environment. So it's been a great partnership across all of Cisco to make this real. The first instance of this was in 2005 where it was discussed in a white paper. Now in 2020 it was delivered and 2020 it will scale. Which customer experience trends will shape in 2022? I feel the trend for customer experience is really measuring impact on the customer's outcome. So when you think of a customer's deploying a network, a customer you know, is, is building a hybrid work environment, I think these next six months are gonna be absolutely critical for Cisco and, and other uh, technology companies to really get this hybrid working world right. I think that is gonna be the thing that's gonna be interesting is I'm used to a certain experience at home. When I come to the office, I'm gonna expect that same experience. The same thing with our customers their employees are going to expect an experience in the office as they had at home. Imagine the environment where you go from meeting room to meeting room to meeting room. Today, you're just clicking on a button to join a new WebEx and it's instantaneous. And so how do we recreate that wonderful experience that we have and in kind of this hybrid environment? Well, so now it's time for a quick quiz to let you know a little bit more about you. And the idea here is for you to answer the first thing that comes to your mind. Your biggest challenge is? The customer experience. And your biggest win, win so far? Getting the entire company aligned on a, a model that was on paper, um, that was not built, um, that was more of a promise than an actual um, opportunity. Dead or alive, who will be your dinner date and why? That's a great question. I think over this pandemic, I've, I've learned a lot um, around equality and culture, and I'd, I'd be fascinated to have dinner with Martin Luther King. Three words your friends or family will describe you are? I believe they'll say driven, honest, and very hardworking. So, New York style pizza or Chicago's deep dish pizza? Which one do you prefer? I would not be allowed to live here if I don't say Chicago deep dish, but I personally prefer, you know, outside of the, the norm is like a cracker crust pizza that we have here in Chicago. Most people call it tavern style. And the last one, best advice you were ever given? The best advice I've, I've received, um, it's, and it changes as I, as I get older and, and kind of progress in life. And, and to me, it was always stick to kind of your beliefs um, and never back down from your values. Thank you very much, Tony. It was really a pleasure to have you here and I hope to see you soon and next time in person. Yes, I would love to. And uh, you know, Barcelona is pretty close to Lisbon and my take is I'll probably be in Barcelona before 
Maybe not this year, but definitely next year. It's really exciting to understand more about how Tony and his team are innovating with Cisco CX Cloud strategy to enable our partners and customers to enjoy a more integrated and consistent experience. Providing the best customer experience has always been in Cisco's DNA. Having a cloud lead CX strategy will be crucial to making sure it can be successful across all our products, markets, and teams in the future. By using cloud to help connect our silos, we can work as one. We can deliver a high quality experience for every customer and partner, every time. My name is Margaret Mourão, and this is Digital Minds.